Hi Earthlings, welcome to my lab. Do you want to live forever? I want to. For this, not only the infrastructure, the quality of food and water, the quality of medical services, but also the quality of air are important, extremely important. The cleaner the air we breathe, the better. In front of you is my computer. It works 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. See how much dust it collects in two months. Yes, it's a great vacuum cleaner. With an excellent electrostatic filter that collects a large amount of dust particles from the air. From large to the smallest particles with size of several micrometers. Look, I found something unknown inside. And we breathe it every day. The condition of internal surfaces and components can be indicative of air quality. The most efficient cooling system is organized in this system unit. Convection. Down, up, down, up. Two 140 mm fans accelerate the air by pumping it through the internal components. The system capacity is approximately 1000 cubic meters of air per day. And as we can see, this whole volume of air is filled with various suspended particles. Today we will try to get rid of them. We continue cleaning the computer with an air duster. Let's just say, this is not the most effective way to clean. The duster cools quickly and does not create unnecessary pressure. We often have to warm it in hot water. After cleaning, we will make the case airtight, so that there is a vacuum. For this, I will use aluminum duct tape, seal all gaps and holes. By the way, the smallest particles of dust, a few micrometers in size or less which can easily overcome the physiological barriers of a human, are the most harmful to the body, reaching the deepest zones of the lungs. I also close all interfaces and ports. I leave only network, a couple of USB ports and HDMI. It will seem strange, but this is the bottom of the system unit. Cold air is sucked in through it. Now I am starting to create the air filter housing, should work through and durable construction. It must support the weight of the system unit.
I use cellulose towels as the main filter element. I fold each one in four. The job is very tedious. My wife helps me with this. As a result it took about 300 towels to be folded. I put viscose napkins on the bottom in one layer and collect all napkins inside the box. Not only the presence of suspended particles is extremely important, also the gaseous mixture of air also important. It may contain many unwanted gases, fumes and resins. Activated carbon will be additional barrier to this. Salting with activated carbon powder I attach the filter cover to silicone. The side panels are also sealed with silicone. By the way, soon I will tell you how I earned $3000 on this piece of aluminum. I think you know that you need to do so as not to miss the video about it. The viewing window was moved from the outer part to the shield of the inner getting rid of all the fasteners. Also glued on silicone. Soft sealing gum for tight contact with the filter box. Prior to this, the case had been mounted on angle brackets on a wooden shelf with a large air vent. Let's try a new shelf.
stands reliably. Now let's get to the test. First, let's go through a dirty test without filtering. We place the prepared absolutely clean glass slide number one in empty CD box. For every test take 24 hours of continuous work. Fans constantly spin and 30% of maximum speed. We remove the first sample, put it in the petri dish. Before carrying out the final test with handmade filter, we seal the connection interfaces. Demonstrate the flow of air passing through the filter. On the right side no filter. We also wait 24 hours and then extract the second sample. Everything is ready for microscopy. Let's start with the first sample. Magnification from 100 to 400 times. We see fibers, dust particles, epithelium particles, as well as many round transparent spots. There are spots of fat. Fat that evaporates during cooking. The kitchen is very close, so that is not surprising to see it here. Second sample. You can immediately see that it has become cleaner. No microfat droplets, no fibers, no epithelium particles. But particles of carbon powder appear. I think after a while, whale will disappear. And this unidentified something else will discovered. Honestly, I don't know what it is. What do you think? Let's add some more functionality. I have a secret fragrance. Add a couple of drops. Smells great. 